हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू ग्रेड अप वी हैव सीन टिल नाउ ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंस टॉपिक फ्रॉम सेट थ्योरी रिलेशन फंक्शन रिलेशन फंक्शन ग्रुप थ्योरी लेटिस एंड ऑल वी हैव कवर्ड ऑल नाउ वी आर डूइंग सम प्रीवियस ईयर बेस्ड ऑन दैट सो दैट वी कैन गेन सम कॉन्फिडेंट प्रैक्टिस इज रियली इम्पोर्टेंट दैट इज वाई वी आर डूइंग दिस ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट so first question is the number of integer 1 and 500 that are divis- number of integer between 1 and 500 both inclusive that are divisible by 3 5 or 7 either it is divisible by 3 either it is divisible by 5 either it is divisible by, by 7 we will count all these number so how we will do that so this is a problem from principle of mutual inclusion and exclusion so how it is first tell me the number of integer that are divisible by 3 1 2 in between 1 to 500 both inclusive the number of integer that are divisible by either 3 or 5 so that is how will you find it 500 divided by me 3 and you will get it is 166 so these are the number that are divisible by 3 okay now now find all these number divisible by 5 that will be 100 same procedure divisible by 7 that will be 71 now why we are doing the subtraction here now why we are doing the subtraction here i told you also earlier see here this is the number of number divisible by 3 this is number divisible by 5 this is number divisible by 7 so it has many portion when i counted number of divisible by 3 number divisible by 5 number divisible by 7 i counted this portion twice the, this portion twice this portion twice this portion twice and this portion as three times i con- counted the the mutual in among all is three times and i counted this portion as two times so i need to exclude this portion how i will do th- these are the intersection of 3 and 5 so i will do the subtraction all all those number that are divisible by 3 and 5 how i will get all these number simple 500 divided by lcm of 3 and 5 lcm of 3 and 5 what will be the lcm of 3 and 5 that will be 15 500 divided by 15 now divide it it will be i think yes it is 33 40 33 okay so that is what it is written here it is 33 now number of divisible by 5 and 7 will be this and number of divisible by 3 and 7 this will be this now what will happen i just remove first i will add this portion three times then i am removing this portion three times so i am actually not counting this portion that is why in the end i am adding okay that is why in the end i am adding one time and how we will find such number this is also very simple 500 upon lcm of 3 7 and 5 so whatever be the lcm you can find it 3 5 7 all these are prime numbers so their lcm will be the multiplication of it so that it will be 35 into 3 this is 105 and when you divide it take the seal because you need to if you are getting like that 66.67 then you cannot say that it will be 167 number that are divisible by 3 no because actually the total number will be 166 that are divisible okay so that is 4 and when you do the math on it you will get 271 as the answer and this is recently asked okay see recently asked See this question. Consider the following hash diagram. Which of the above represent the lattice? So understand the question properly. If it is say that which of the above is not a lattice, then you have to do that. Some people got um, do sil- such kind of silly mistake and later realizes it. Everyone do it. Also me, me also do some mistake in my exam. So everyone do it, but try to minimize it. And how can you do that? 
by practicing lot and reading the question properly see it is asking for the lattice that is simple if it is asking for not lattice then we have to do the question in this way so there are four options and we need to identify which among them is a lattice okay so how will you do what, uh, what is a lattice so for every pair of element if there is lub lub and glb then we can say it is a lattice so we need to check whether for every pair of element there is lattice there is lub and glub okay so for this one yes we have seen so far this type of lattice many times and this is a lattice but if i ask you what is the what is the least up among these two what will be the least upper bound that will be this and the greatest lower bound that will be this and if you take any pair of this this is gonna be always now see this is something interesting try to find those pair for which there is not lub i am giving you a task for this lattice try to find those pair for which there is not lub there is no lub okay try it pause the video and try it and i am doing solving here so i think the two two vertices for which two pairs for which there is no lub are this and this there are can be many but i am seeing that they are always they are going to be happen how to find the lub thinking like that water is flowing in upward direction so i am thinking that water is flowing here upward direction water is flowing here water is flowing here and water is flowing here where it is meeting here it is meeting here it is meeting and also at this point here it is meeting so now we need we have three point which are the upper bound of it and we need to identify least among them so obviously that these two are least than this so i am not considering this one and i am now my whole focus is between these two this and this now these two are not comparable these two are not comparable that means we cannot have least upper bound so here we are not having for these two vertices one and two there is no least upper bound so it is not a lattice okay it is not a lattice we cross it okay now see here i again ask you the same task find two vertices here for which there is no least upper bound or find two vertices here for which there is no greatest lower bound try to find it try to find it so also i think we have solved this kind of example in our previous lecture so it should be easy for you try it so i pick mark as 1 and 2 for these two what will be the upper bound water is flowing water is flowing water is flowing meeting at these three point so it will be the same scenario like that so there will be no least upper bound okay for these two vertex and for any other vertex for which we will not be having greatest lower bound yes see this three and four for this water will be flow downward water will flow downward and it is meeting at three point what are three point one two and three so for this three lower bound we need to identify the greatest i can say that obviously this is greater than this but these two are not comparable that means there is no greatest lower bound so it is not a lattice marking as cross now see this it is a lattice how it is a pentagonal lattice which we have seen it and this lattice is not distributed lattice this lattice is not distributed lattice why it is not distributed lattice can you answer this i told you why it is not distributed lattice because here this element having two complement two complement and in a distributed lattice every no element can have two or more complement that is why this is not a distributed lattice but it is a lattice try to find for every pair lub and glub you will get it okay so our question is asking what represent a lattice this is a lattice so 1 and 4 are lattice 1 and 4 are lattice so mark option a don't mark option b they are not the lattice some time people do like this kind of silly mistake a lot so do practice and read the question properly this question is asked in gate 2015 let r be the relation on the set of positive integer so r be the relation on the set of positive 
integer okay that is n simple only the wording is complex but the under meaning is very simple such that a a is related to b how we read that thing a is related to b and only if a and b are distinct only if a and b are distinct okay and ha let have a common divisor other than one okay so let them have a common divisor other than one so they will be related to each other if they are distinct and they have a common divisor other than one for example two and four two and four okay what is the common divisor other than one two okay i am asking you a question whether two and three will be related no these two are not related because their common divisor is one there is no other common divisor other than one okay that is why they are not related so we need to identify which of the following about r is true so question is asking about true statement okay we will see it so this is asking reflexive symmetric and transitive so we try to find whether it is going to be reflexive symmetric and transitive or not so first we will check for reflexive so for reflexive i can say 2 comma 2 but the word but here the word having distinct a and b are distinct so simply 2 and 2 2 comma 2 cannot be present here so the relation cannot be reflexive relation cannot be reflexive now symmetric now for symmetric suppose 2 and 4 is there obviously 4 comma 2 can also be there because they are distinct and they have the common common divisor other than one which is 2 so this relation is gonna be symmetric because you have any such kind of thing such that they are distinct and they have a common divisor other than one then when you write them as like this when you write them like the end this then also they have they are distinct and they have the same common divisor so that is why they it is symmetric relation it is symmetric relation now finding about transitive is very interesting try to find for transitive it is not that much tough but it is interesting because there are many example frame many question frame like this so i am taking a counter example such that our relation does not become transitive how 2 comma 6 will be there because we having here 2 and 3 it is a multiplication of 2 and 3 and i am taking 6 comma 9 and we what will be having here here we will be having here 2, 2 into 3 and 3 into 3 now according to transitive 2 comma 9 should be present in the relation if uh, the if the relation r is transitive then 2 comma 9 should be present there 2 comma 9 should be present there but you see that they are they have only one common divisor and that is one that is one that is why they are not present here so these two can be present but this should this should not be present that means the relation is not transitive so which of the following is the correct option r is symmetric but not reflexive and not transitive d is the right answer see this question asked in gate 2010 what is the possible number of reflexive relation on a set of five element what is the possible number of reflexive relation set having five elements okay so i told you the formula but never remember these formula i told you to how to find the number of reflexive relation number of symmetric relations and also number of reflexive and symmetric relations anti-symmetric relation irreflexive relation asymmetric relation for all of these i give you the formula but never remember any formula you should always know how to drive them and they are very 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 easy we are going to drive it here right now let the n let the set s is equal to 1 2 3 4 and 5 so in our for a relation how many in s cross s how many elements will be there 1 comma 1 and so 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 2 comma 2 so 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 5 comma 5 these are the diagonal elements other than these diagonal elements like this 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 and so 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 on other these many also present so how many these are they are 5 and how many these are they are they these will be 5 square 
बिकॉज इन कार्टिशियन प्रोडक्ट एन स्क्वेयर एलिमेंट विल बी प्रेजेंट माइनस फाइव सो ट्वेंटी एलिमेंट आर प्रेजेंट ना ऑल ऑफ दीज मे और मे नॉट बी प्रेजेंट मे और मे नॉट बी प्रेजेंट बिकॉज दे डज नॉट अफेक्ट एनी थिंग फॉर अ रिलेशन टू बी रिफ्लेक्सिव बट दे ऑल शुड बी प्रेजेंट दे ऑल शुड बी प्रेजेंट सो फॉर ऑल ऑफ दीज ऑप्शन वट वी हैव वन दे शुड बी प्रेजेंट एंड फॉर दिस there are two option it may be present or it may not be present two option and for this one two option and so 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 on the remaining 20 element we will be having this so what is the our answer 2 power 20 so that much easy this question don't remember any formula especially for discrete mathematics you should know how to drive them they are very intuitively and you should drive them okay so correct answer will be c option See this question asked in gate 2009. Consider the binary relation R. This is our relation on the set. This which of the following is not true? So it is asking about symmetric, anti-symmetric. Okay, in every option it is asking about symmetric and anti-symmetric. So we just need to check for these two. So for a relation to be symmetric, what is the condition? For a relation to be symmetric, the condition is for all a comma b belong to me, belong to me a, for all a comma b belong to me a. If 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 is very important, a comma b belong to me R, then b comma a belong to me R. So that is the condition for a relation to be symmetric. Now see here. X comma y is there. Where is y comma x? Where is y comma x? I am not finding y comma x here. Any, on there is no y comma x. So that relation is not symmetric because this is true and this is false is the only condition where p implies q become false. That is why this relation is not symmetric. Now, what is the condition for a relation to be anti-symmetric? For a relation to be anti-symmetric, the condition is that for all a comma b belong to me R, if a comma b belong to sorry this is a if a comma b belong to me R and b comma a belong to me R, then a is equal to b, a is equal to b. That is the condition. Okay, and I am seeing one pair here, this like pair. Where a comma b belong to me R, obviously b comma a belong to me R, but they are not equal. X and Z are very different, so that's why they are. It is also not anti-symmetric. Anti-symmetric. So try to remember the relation like this. That really helps. It make the understanding better, and you also be familiar with these kind of. So this kind of symbols, and you will not feel hesitation when you solve first time. Or so try to remember like this, and try to understand the implication very well. That is why we we did our first topic as proportional logic because understanding the implication is very is very necessary. So what is the option here? D. R is neither symmetric nor anti-symmetric. See this question asked in gate 2004. The inclusion of which of the following set into S is necessary and sufficient to make S a complete lattice under the partial order defined by set containment. So the question is saying that this set S may or may not be a lattice, and we need to add something into it such that it will become a lattice. So that is what the meaning of this question. So I want to draw the hash diagram because hash diagram give me a better understanding. Hash diagram give me a better understanding. So how the inclusion which of the following set into S? Okay. So how I will do it? Okay. So set containment meaning set containment meaning what is the meaning of set containment? That means that one comma two Is a subset of one to three, so that kind of meaning is here. So we will draw it one comma two, okay, one comma two. Now one comma two comma three, okay, very well. And then we will be having one comma two comma four, very good. And then we will be having another 
वन थ्री एंड फाइव एंड वी विल बी हैविंग वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव सो दिस इज दैश डायग्राम ऑफ इट सी वन कोमा टू कैन नॉट बी रिलेट टू इट बिकॉज दे आर नॉट द सेट कंटेन बिकॉज वन कोमा टू इज नॉट द सबसेट ऑफ वन थ्री एंड फाइव वन कोमा टू इज नॉट द सबसेट ऑफ वन थ्री एंड फाइव ओके सो वट शुड बी दी शुड एड सच दैट इट विल बिकम अ लेटेस्ट सो हेयर द ऑप्शन इज वन आई विल ट्राई इट एंड सी वेदर इट इज पॉसिबल ऑन नॉट सो आई जस्ट एड इट एंड डू दिस There is no need to do it. Why? Because in hash diagram we don't draw the transitive edges. I don't draw draw this edge. Okay, I don't draw draw this edge. Similarly, I don't need to draw this edge and this edge, but I need to draw this edge. So it will become like this. Okay, so I will try to draw it betterly here. so this is the diagram and now what you need to do is you need to do try to find two pair such that for there there is no lub and glb if you are successful then you can say that it is not a lattice we need to add something more if you are not able to successful that means it is a lattice okay so i i will say that for this and this lattice obviously this is the lub and this is the glb so don't pick any if i pick this lattice and this lattice then again this and this will become that if i pick this and this then obviously they will become so try it with every possibility and try it how the much you like try it and you will find that there is no such two pairs such that for which there is no lub and glb so, okay so this is a lattice okay it is a lattice try it because you need to try it for every pair but try it till that point you feel confident that it is a lattice okay because trying for all possibility is very not a good task because it takes lot of time so a is also a is the right answer you not need to check the for other because it is asking for necessary and sufficient it is necessary and sufficient okay among these options so our answer is a so that's all these are the previous year from set theory but you need to do more practice because the, i can in a video i can take 8 to 10 example but not more than that and we have 30 around 30 year previous year questions so you need to practice each and every one to get good marks okay so keep practicing because practice is the key in gate examination and mathematics is such a topic you don't miss any marks from it if you are missing one or two marks from system subject i can understand but mathematics you should not and don't leave mathematics you will do in by the end at the end because you will not be having that much of time and it requires some practice do mathematics first and also it is the foundation to many other subject that you are going to study so that's why doing first mathematics is very is advantage you will be having an advantage okay so keep practicing Thank you